Hi guys, welcome back to Her TV. It's January 2nd, 2019. I, I can't even believe I'm saying that. Um, I hope everyone had a great New Year's Eve. I know I did. No complaints over here. Um, I hope you guys spent it well with your family and friends, loved ones. Um, I just hope it was great as well as mine. Um, anyways, I'm here to give you the guys the highlights of today. Um, if you guys haven't heard by now, but I'm sure you guys have the passing of Mean Gene, the announcer, the iconic announcer from WWE, um, passed away at the age of 76. Um, why am I bringing him up in my little blog? Well, number one, he is iconic. Number two, he made a great impact in the hip hop culture. Um, there's one artist named Westside Gun um, shared how devastated he was on Twitter, pretty much stating how. You know, because he did make, West Side Gun made a song about, you know, in, in, inspired by Mean Gene in one of his songs or his album that came out last June, Supreme Belletela, Bele? I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but he dropped, he made that song last year and he expressed how he was listening to it and he just had a, you know, in the car and he had a pull over the shoulder and just cried out and expressed how he loved him more than his own father. And that is so crazy to me because I feel like it's crazy how you've never met, you never meet certain people and like you just see them, you know, through television, entertainment, music, whatever. But it's crazy how they impact you as, you know, a person. They touch you in so many different ways and it does take a toll on people. So that was one of the artists that kind of stuck up, stuck out to me the most on how, you know, discouraged he was on his passing. Um, I just hope his family and friends, um, you know, get enough courage to go through this. But um, on a lighter note, Kevin, uh, Karen Civil, sorry, Karen Civil has announced her tour. Um, I just got off the ground not too long ago. She announced that she was going to be um, coming to Corona over in the IE, doing a little mini, you know, I guess seminar starting there. And I think that will take place on January 12th. Um, her tour is called Be Your Civil, Living and Finding Your Purpose 2019. So the tour title says it all, what it probably might be about. Um, she didn't, she didn't announce the dates yet. You have to sign up for that. I mean, it'll alert you. I already did that. Um, so I'm just waiting on the dates, but so far she announced the cities that she's going to touch down on. And that's obviously LA. And then it's Houston, Dallas, Seattle, Atlanta, Miami, Boston, Philly, Washington, Chicago, New Jersey, Brooklyn. By the way, I think it's in Brooklyn, the Nets game arena. That's pretty dope. And Cleveland and London. Looking forward to that. I hope you guys are too. Um, again, I feel like learning, whatever field you're trying to go through or get at, you know, I feel like it's never enough information to grasp. I feel like I'm always going to be a student. Speaking for myself, I feel like I'm always going to be learning something new. Um, times do change, but again, I feel like it, it, there's nothing wrong by just soaking in as much as knowledge as you possibly can. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Switching gears a little bit, I do want to talk about title. Sorry, I need a glass of water. <clears throat> yeah, anyway, I did want to talk about title. If you guys haven't subscribed to title yet, I don't know how badly I can stress this out enough. I feel like every video I do, it's about, at the end, it, it is talking about Tidal. Just because it's such a great app, I feel like it doesn't compare to others. No offense. Um, but I'm just geeked because two weeks ago they did a promo. Um, probably missed it, but it was for the new subscribers that if you paid two bucks, you get three months for free. And without any monthly fees or anything attached to that. So I thought that was really, really dope. Especially for the holiday season. So if you missed out, bad luck for you. Anyway, <laughs> but I did want to talk about something that they created not too long ago. Me, I'm always on the go, right? I'm always on the go. I'm a mother. I work at a mortgage company. And I'm doing, I'm hustling, doing. Y'all know, y'all see it. <laughs> Anyways, so I feel like listening to certain albums and and new you know podcast shows that come out whatever like i feel like they know me 
and probably know everybody else, but I feel like on a personal level, when it comes to obviously music tasting, they know me. Why are you, why am I saying this? Because I found out a couple days ago, actually, that they create a, a mix playlist for each subscriber. And it pretty much, like, there's not just one, not just two, but there's three mix, like, lists, mix playlists, sorry. I'm afraid. Three mix playlists that they, re that they create and it's pretty much of what you listen to on the daily. So I listen to hip hop, yes I do, but I also love to listen to R&B. So my thing is, is it's just so convenient because I feel like, they also give you the option too to create your own playlist, which by the way, my Salsa Cumbia playlist, like no one can mess with that. That is like fire, it's lit. So thank you Tito for that. But no, like the, play, the mixed playlist that they created for me, it's like all I have to do is just figure out which playlist I want to listen to, whether it's in the morning, my drive, or, you know, going to an event, whatever, like, just, I got to pick between the three, and the rest, I leave it for Tidal. So, thank you, Tidal, and shout out to Elliot Wilson, which, by the way, Elliot Wilson tweeted this morning that him and Currency are creating a dope, or as he put it, cooking up a dope, dope playlist for everybody that subscribed to Tidal. So again, if you haven't subscribed to Tidal, what the hell are you waiting for? Again, I can't stress this enough. It's again, our ESPN to all the hip hop tasters, leaders of the new school, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, man, get on Tidal ASAP. And speaking of Tidal, BDOT, real quick before I wrap this up, BDOT actually did a, a Q and A I want to say not yesterday, but the day before yesterday, he did a Q and A on IG store on his IG story, and what kind of intrigued me by one of the questions that they asked him was if he plans to bring on no other than the Queen Bee herself, Beyonce, to have her to be interviewed, and he replied with the Craig like meme, you know Craig Friday, for my Ice Cube plays Craig. Anyways, he did. <laughs> He responded with the clip from Ice Cube, that part where he was kind of like, kind of high, kind of feeling good. He's just like, yes, yes. So I hope he's not teasing because I really can't wait. It's, it's like it hasn't even happened yet. I'm already geeked the freak out. Like I'm, I'm, I'm hyped. I'm, I'm excited for it. If it does happen, I feel like it will. It's only a matter of time of when it will happen. What you know, it what, is it gonna drop in the summer? I just don't know. I'm very, very excited for it. I'm sure everybody else is too and can't wait for that to happen but anyways yeah that's pretty much it for today um again if you haven't liked subscribed please do so and i will catch you guys on the next one peace love and hip hop